Full state machine based power analysis is not always practical. So we need a simple way to let us develop power scenarios with the input of SMEs to give us meaningful power demand estimates. Just totaling up the power draw for everything in the product structure is not practical and it often results in overestimization. So a more practical way to do this is to tie power usages or power scenarios to part properties because the power draw should be defined at the class level or block level but the blocks can be used in many places in the product and they may not all be turned on at the same time. So for that reason uh, we have a dependency matrix here that allows us to create power usages between power scenarios and individual part properties with their multiplicities. Now there may be a case in which the part is not being run at full power and as a result we have created a fudge factor or a usage factor uh, on the stereotype to allow us to carry that and we wanted that to default to one for a hundred percent usage. So let's look at this first. So the first thing we have created is the power usage stereotype which stereotypes the usage relationship and it adds this usage factor relationship which is a real number with a default value of one. Now to ensure that these are created and set to the default automatically upon creation we have set the multiplicity for this tag to one therefore when the uh, relationship is created the power usage is created it automatically populates that with one by default we've also created the power scenario uh, stereotype with the meta class of use case to act as the other end of the relationship so now let's go ahead and take a look at the customization we've created here for the power usage. Note the target is set to the power usage, and I've limited the source and target that it only can be used to connect power scenarios with part properties. So this is a powerful way to error check and prevent this from being misused. And so that's something you can bake into your customizations if you want to limit the source and target for relationships. So the customization for the power scenario uh, basically has created this derived property uh, for the power scenario usage as well as set it up so that it appears in the specification window. So under the attributes here uh, this is a power scenario usage in watts. It's a real and uh, you have to pick the primitive uh, type for that to work correctly. The multiplicity is set to 1. It's set to be derived and the expression itself is calling an opaque behavior of calculate power usage and note that the power usage opaque behavior takes usages in as uh, its input and returns the calculated value. And so there's a meta chain here as the context that starts with the power scenario, looks for anything that this is the source of the relationship, and filters it by power usage. So this meta chain feeds the opaque behavior the correct relationships. The calculate power usage opaque behavior itself is a bean shell script contributed by Mark Petrata that basically returns all the multiplicity, usage factor, and power values and multiplies and sums them. And so this executes every time that the uh, element or table is queried and updates. So here's the power scenario analysis table. This is where we can create the relationships efficiently between the power scenarios and the part properties. This power scenario table uh, is where we can create and define the power scenarios. And note that this uh, is the column that rolls up automatically and provides the totals. And then the power usages table that we have here basically looks at every power usage and shows us the source, the part property it's connected to, what block owns that part property. It lets us see the usage factors. It lets us see the power usage of the block uh, that types the part property. We see the multiplicity. And so notice that in this case, usage factor times the power usage times the multiplicity gives us 180. Uh, this says we're contributing 180 uh, towards the overall scenario. Here's the power scenario total, and here's the percentage. Uh, in this case, our contribution is 300. The total is 360. The contribution is 83%. And so uh, this gives us a nice way to see what the individual contributions are for each usage. Note that uh, the contribution percentage is simply using built-in math. Uh, we have uh, arg1, arg2, arg3 times 100 over arg4, and all that we're using here is the uh, basically computing this ourselves with the variety of uh, properties just for this, and then argument 4 is returning the power scenario usage from the 
power scenario itself. And so again, uh, very straightforward, but gives us a sense of the power usage scenarios. So keep in mind that you don't always have to do full-blown analysis with state machines and a lot of simulation. Often something like this is good enough to be able to get some uh, subject matter experts to sit down and quickly run through the major power draws that are turned on. You know, for example, in a vehicle, we're going uphill uh, with the air conditioning on and uh, you know running the radio or something, and you could total that up very quickly and get a rough estimate for the watts that are being drawn. So again, a little bit of customization, a few opaque behaviors, and we now have an efficient way to compute uh, the power draw given various power scenarios.